A concept that's really at the core of the idea of capturing detail and texture is one's ability to observe and your ability to store what you've seen in your memory. Humans basically evolved to see something, analyze it really quickly, strip it down to its core elements, and then take that with them. And this essentially help them to survive because if you see something like a tiger in the jungle, you need to react immediately. You need to identify the fact that it's dangerous and you need to get out of there. Maybe you need to tell your, uh, you know, the rest of your tribe that there's this dangerous thing and it's got pointy ears and, and a big nose and sharp teeth and stay the hell away from it so that when they see it, they too will know, I need to get away from that. So this whole idea of taking something that is immensely complex, like a tiger's face, there's so much detail there, and just going down to the major points, simplifying it, and running off of that, that's essentially what humans are good at. It also happens to be really bad when you actually want to be able to draw that super complicated thing. We have a tendency to just take all of that beautiful information that we're staring at, and the second we look away, our brain just throws it out. And so because of that, a lot of students will get frustrated when they're trying to add detail because none of it seems to come out right. And the fact of the matter is that we're all at a disadvantage. By default, we are not designed to capture detail. We can work on it to uh, train our mind and rewire our brain so that eventually we can do this, but as our starting point, it is not a strength. So to demonstrate this concept, I've got this uh, picture of a friend's cat. His name is Earl Grey. And the idea is that when a, a normal beginner looks at, at this, they'll look at the cat and then they'll go off and draw the cat and they'll draw it based on what they remembered. And most beginners have this problem that's called symbol drawing. It's where, essentially what I've said already, you just draw the major things that you remember. You, and you only remember enough to be able to identify it later. So you might come up with a drawing that looks kind of like this. I mean, it's very much not Earl Grey. It's just a cartoon, a bad cartoon, of just any simple cat. And so you don't get any sense of form, of, you know, the fact that it's three-dimensional, you don't get any of the fur, you know, there's nothing specific to this cat either, it's just a very generic simplified cat. Whereas if you actually take the time to observe it directly, and if as you train your brain to pick up on more of the details, then you end up with something a little bit more, you know, developed. And this isn't a particularly great sketch, but whatever. Um, the main way to approach drawing detail as a, as a human being who is fundamentally not designed for this task is not to rely on your memory. Basically, as you, uh, as you go sit down to draw something, generally people will observe and study the, the subject matter for a long time and then they'll go and draw for a while and then they'll come back to the to the reference image and then they'll go back and draw for a while and the problem is that they're spending too much time drawing not enough time observing and the time that they spend observing is not focused on like a size of information a piece of information that they can actually retain and carry over so your main focus needs to be on Maybe you look at your reference image for like, I don't know, 90% of the time, and then you only draw 10% of the time. And what you're doing here is instead of trying to look at the whole picture in, in the 90% of observation, you focus on specific parts. You, you try and find specific lines, specific forms that are present, and then you carry them over, spending only a moment or two to put down the specific couple of marks that you need to draw in order to get that down, and then 
you know that your memory is basically done. Any other information has already been processed and oversimplified, and so now you need to go back and observe that reference, or if it's from life, look at the object again. And you can now shift over to a neighboring area or, you know, just take it little bits at a time. And as you practice this sort of strictly observational drawing and, you know, no longer rely so heavily on memory, you'll rewire how your brain understands what's important and what isn't. And so gradually, we'll never really attain perfect memory, but over time, you start to pick up on, well, you know what, the, the dumb, simplified cat shape, well, maybe we need to think more about the shape of the ears and retain that information, or which way are the whiskers actually bending, what is the shape of the nose, and so you start to refine your understanding of what's important over time, but you, it all comes down to spending most of your time observing, taking little chunks, and then transferring them over one by one.